are gonna do the crowd favorite. It's the pumpkin cream cold brew. I know some of you guys inquired about the pumpkin spice latte. I will be doing that eventually, but my personal favorite is the pumpkin cream cold brew. So that's what we're gonna do today. This recipe is super easy. It is obviously Starbucks inspired, but it is super easy. And it might be even almost identical to it. It tastes so good. We are not gonna do cold brew, but if you guys do wanna do like a version of a cold brew, there's a video that I have on my channel that you can watch just to kind of give you an idea of how I do my own cold brew. But for today's sake, I'm gonna do Bianco. <laughs> Why do I just call it Bianco? I'm gonna do um, Ice Forte is what it's called. We're gonna brew that one and then we're gonna do our pumpkin cream over that. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna need one quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm using the brand Good & Gather from Target, but I'm sure any brand will work. I'm also using from the same brand, one tablespoon of pumpkin puree and throwing that into the mix. And two tablespoons of Monin's French vanilla syrup. I prefer French vanilla, it's just a richer taste, but if you don't like French vanilla, then I'm sure vanilla syrup will work just as well. You're gonna need a handheld frother. I don't know about putting this in the arrochino because I feel like the pumpkin puree is a little too thick for it. Try it, but I won't personally suggest it. So I'm using my handheld frother. It's only $20, you can get it on Amazon. And this is what I'm using to mix all the ingredients together. All right, let's brew our coffee. Like I said, I'm using Ice Forte for this recipe, putting it into my milk pitcher first because I do wanna use the hyper chiller to chill it before we add it to the ice. I think it's the best way to get these bigger coffee pots to work. Once it's done brewing, then we're gonna throw it into our hyper chiller and then swirl it for about, I would say 60 seconds. I grabbed a 14 ounce cup, filled it with ice, and now you just wanna pour the coffee out of the hyper chiller over your ice, leaving enough room for your cream, just kinda of depending on how much cream you like. And last, but certainly not the least, pour your pumpkin cream over your coffee, and to top it off, sprinkle some pumpkin pie spice over your drink. I was gonna put a straw in, but then I remembered it is best without a straw because you let your lips touch that glorious cream first. All right, I was gonna put a straw in there, but this drink, honestly, it's better when you drink it from the cup without a straw because the cream is on top and then that's what touches your palate first and then the coffee. So let's try it. Oh my God, guys, this is amazing. <laughs> this is so good. I honestly, it's been a while since I've tried the Starbucks one. I probably have it all over my lips, but this has got to be better than Starbucks. If you have tried that one, try my recipe. It's super easy. Three ingredients, your heavy whipping cream, pumpkin pie puree, um, French vanilla syrup, and then just a little bit of the pumpkin pie spice on top. So good. Oh my God. And Ice Forte pairs really well because it's kind of like a dark roasted um, capsule. So it's it withstands all that spice and pumpkin flavor. So good. You would have to try it with that one. I haven't tried it with Ice Leggero. I feel like Ice Leggero might be a little too weak for this recipe, but for sure Ice Forte or whatever cold brew like i said i have a cold brew recipe on my channel that i'll link up above for you guys check that out too because with that you can actually try a pumpkin spice coffee ground and kind of add a little more flair that way but definitely try it with ice forte if that's all you have you won't be disappointed if you try this recipe let me know in the comment section below what you think i would 
really like to know because I think it's really, really good. And I hope that's not just a biased opinion because I, I honestly think it's really good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little pumpkin cold brew recipe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. One more sip before I go. Oh my god, so good.